what is up everybody welcome back to my video i hope y'all have an amazing day as usual i'm back with another youtube video in this video we're at dungan donuts as you guys can see and we're going to be doing a review for a dungan donuts grilled cheese and a pineapple mango um refresher so before we get into today's video make sure to click the like button click the subscribe button, and always comment down below really really helps out with the videos so all right so today you know how i mean you guys know how i like to stay consistent with my uh videos and i try to do a food review every week um i was i was really running out of ideas when i was at home i was like shit what should i do right and so um i was like i'm not gonna go back to um, a convenience store or the supermarket to do another mountain dew review it's just not happening because it seems like those are the only new things that ever come out at any store so i was like damn um, so then I decided to come down to Clifton um, to the Styrtown Shopping Center um, and Subway had um, like 12 brand new sandwiches but I only had seven bucks on me and um, Subway claims that their sandwiches um, are only six dollars or five dollars or whatever how much, how much ever they charge for like a hat um, for a six inch um, so and because like of all the toppings and everything for some reason it never adds up and it's always a dollar more like subway subway's like that i'm telling you um that's why wawa's that's like wawa's good like that wawa doesn't do that like you can put as much toppings on you want on your sandwich as you want and it will still be the same um so yeah so basically this actually came to i think about 723 723 is what both of this came to and i was like we're gonna. I'll probably have to put the groceries back because I don't have enough money. But the woman at Dunkin' Donuts said it was okay. Um, it's so nice when people do that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I love when people are not stingy like that. You know what I mean? Like it's. You know I. I feel like really bad if that happens at like a mom and pop shop, and I don't think it's happened to me at a mom and pop shop, which is good. But if it's like a like a corporate, if it's like a big chain, I don't really feel too bad because that's just 25 cents. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, enough of me talking let's get straight into this review um all right so this is their grilled cheese wow this is underwhelming the bread is barely toasted and look <laughs> that's not even half melted yo um but the uh i mean the bread look at the bread this is a nice sourdough guys and uh yeah this cheese is not melted at all bro um let's break it open this is for 369 this is what you get for 369 y'all um what is this bro come on like what all right let's at least give it a try because i'm like damn mm. y'all it's i mean it's all right it's just like they put literally zero effort into making this like Like they like they could have you know you know what probably the woman didn't put in she definitely didn't put it in the toaster long enough that's for sure and it's not bad it tastes good but it's like come on like there, you could have done so much better with this Dunkin Donuts That noise you just heard wasn't a fart. It was actually the table. If you could even hear it. I mean, it was so quiet, but as in case. So, um, this also comes with ketchup as well. And um, I'm one of those types of people that put ketchup on my grilled cheese. I'm not a huge ketchup lover. But, um, like, when, when I had school lunch, which I, I usually make my own lunches. But when I was at school, um, eighth grade, they would always have grilled cheese for lunch. At least once or twice a week. And any time I would happen, I would be like, okay, that's one of the only good things they ever had was the grilled cheeses. And I would always get ketchup with it. Just, you know, bugs everywhere. Just, you know, to give it more flavor. Mm. Mm. Like, if you don't have tomato soup, ketchup is, like, the next best thing to that. You know?
So another few with the ketchup. All right, let's get into the drink now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the camera. Yeah. Okay, so I, you know, I'll just have to hold it like this, which is all right, I can do that. This is what it looks, look at how beautiful this looks. I mean, this is a work of art. This is amazing, so yeah, let's gonna take a sip. Yo, this is good. Oh, man. Mm. I don't know what, if they, why they call it refresher. Either it's to like make you have a lot of energy and refresh your brain or just to cool you down. Either way, it's really good. Damn, I give that a 9 out of 10. Now, I, I already have had the um, Strawberry Passion Fruit Refresher. Um, and I got that at a um, Dunkin' Donuts in Kensington. Um, yeah, Kensington. The Kensington neighborhood in Philadelphia? Yeah, that one. Shout out to my boy Tune. <laughs> maybe he's watching this video, maybe he's not, but I was in his hood when he was on that cross country road trip. It wasn't on Kensington Avenue though. I think it was on Frankfurt Avenue or it was somewhere at the bottom of Kensington. That's that's all I remember. But it was everything there was like it was really clean. The service was decent. Um and the vibe was good in there but there was this woman in the back she must have been high on drugs or something one of the employees she was like cursing everyone out like what only in philly bro especially because that area is known for drugs but yeah um all right so i'm gonna talk about um recently a reddit post that has now got my channel a lot of views so um in my recent video um, I was walking through Hazleton, Pennsylvania, and and that video is already at 100 views, which is dope. And um, you know, usually my walking tours, they're probably some of my least viewed videos, which sucks because they're the hardest ones to make, or they're just the ones that I put the most effort. Actually, I take that back. The music ones are the hardest to make. My music videos, they sometimes sometimes take like 10 tries. So yeah, but anyways, um, these dude posted a Reddit page, a video I filmed about two high at this point three yeah three years ago it was at mcdonald's um a br i was basically breaking all the rules of the mcdonald's play place um yeah so and that video got a ton of views i think it's at over a thousand right now but um yeah that's not a ton of views but you know for me that's a lot um and and they posted on reddit it got something like 200 something likes 2,000 views on reddit Someone posted it on Reddit, I guess, a link to my YouTube video. So, I guess that's how I got famous. Now, I got a comment from someone asking me to do it again, but I can't. Because that the McDonald's that I filmed that at actually went out of business. It, that McDonald's doesn't exist anymore. It went out of business uh, in the beginning of 2022. Um... So yeah, I can't really do anything more at that uh, McDonald's. And there's no McDonald's in my area other than that one that had a play place, so. Won't happen again, I'm sorry. Plus I'm 14, almost 15 years old. I'm not going in that damn play place. I was like, I was 11 back when I filmed that video. So nah, -uh. not at my age, I'm too old for that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys that ain't gonna happen again I'm not doing that again now do I expect this reddit post to give me a lot of views and a lot of new subscribers I mean not really um right now um I get I have 1.3k subscribers which is 1,300 um and you know i think it was at like so i think i gained about 50 subscribers just from that reddit post um will all those subscribers watch my videos i doubt it um a lot of my subscribers like you'll notice i have a lot of subscribers but maybe only like three four or five people comment on my videos and only maybe like 10 or less like it you know what i'm saying so that um that alone is kind of like messed up you know like no like 
most most of the people that are subscribed are not watching my videos. Now, I'm, I don't really take that to heart. You know what I'm saying? I don't let my low view count really, you know, phase me. I, I just enjoy. I just I just want to enjoy creating content with you guys, and I just want to have fun in the process. So you know, we're all here. You know, we're all lit right now. Yeah. All right. I'm going to finish this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, and God bless everyone.